What's up guys? So today I have the pleasure, I had the pleasure of uh, washing my buddy's 15 GT. It is a 2015 Mustang GT uh, base model with the performance pack and the Recaros in ruby red. Now when he ordered it, so he ordered it in like October of 2014 I want to say. And then by February, I think it was like February 1st or February 2nd, he uh, uh, took delivery of it. So I've just got the Brembo, ba Brembo brakes. Uh, I just got done washing it. Just a just little quick rinse. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty nice. It's, it's fun as fuck to drive around. I wish it was mine. You know, I, I will say it's probably hands down one of the best uh, all-around daily drivers as far as between the three big muscle cars. You know, the Camaro SS, super dope. Uh, I really like the SS, uh, especially like the 2SS, 1LE, or just anything really. So I think those are cool. Uh, I, I hate Challengers. Sorry guys, whether it's Hellcat, Scat Pack, don't care. Just, just not a fan of it. Um, but I'm gonna do a quick startup for you guys. It's already warm, so it's not gonna be a cold start. But uh, yeah, and then we'll get inside and go from there. shelf tune um, pretty basic interior although it's better than all the other years that is for sure it actually it, it's it's very nice I shouldn't say basic other than this but even then that's that's not that big of a deal the premium you obviously get the in dash you get the three cool little things here um, but you know what it didn't it just didn't make sense alrighty guys let's uh let's go for a little reside so the reason why I cleaned it, uh, I am hosting a cruise to Jerome tomorrow in Arizona. Uh, this will be the first thing that I've hosted. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Facebook event, I think it says like 100 and something interested. It's like 68 going, so you figure what, probably 10% of that. So I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for 30 people will come. Realistically, probably 15 will actually show. So we'll see. Um, it's a diverse group. Everything from 86s to uh, uh, muscle cars. There's even a Harley Davidson truck. Now, as far as this car goes, uh, it has an MBRP race catback exhaust, Cooks. Uh, that's how you say it, Cooks, Cooks, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't fuck if I know. Uh, I'm an import guy. Uh, Cooks long tubes, has a Steeda intake, it uh, has an SCT tuner and an off the shelf map from Lund on pump 91. Uh, he dynoed 412 and like 389 I believe on a Mustang Dino so they are the typically the heartbreaker dinos if you don't know so realistically I mean he's probably 430 ish to the wheels on any other dyno if you guys want to see more about him or it uh, I'll include his Instagram name either here somewhere still don't know how to edit because I only use iMovie on my phone and I record with the GoPro and then download it to my phone and do all the editing there. Uh, 
so yeah you don't need a fancy camera to do this guys you, you really don't like I said I have the GoPro app and it allows me to download it to my phone and then I use the uh, iMovie for the rest to edit it so uh, yeah um, what else about this car the performance pack comes with the 373 gears which ideally I think is actually a really good gear set personally um, copper to our right this car it's got some goodies uh, well I might, as well I might as well spill it sorry Mike if you watch this uh, he's got comp stage 3 cams chilling in his, uh, his bedroom right now uh, he's got a GT350 throttle body waiting 47 pound injectors uh, and then he also, we're just waiting to get the, or he's waiting to get the GT350 intake manifold and some oil pump gears just to be on the safe side. And you should be able to rev it to 82, 50 is typically what we see people do. And he'll obviously get it tuned and whatnot. I think him and I are going to do the intake manifold and throttle body whenever he actually buys it. Uh, the cams we won't do on our own. Probably gonna take it to the shop. Probably take it to the shop that's going to tune it. Uh, I don't know if anyone's out here in Arizona, but Bill, Met, Bill Messer, I think he works at like AEM or AEP, I, I, I forget. Uh, that's actually the shop where we went to to have it just dynoed in the first place and talked with Bill and whatnot. Cool guy. Plan is, or the goal would be to reach 500 naturally aspirated to the rear wheels. So we'll see. I haven't found anyone running Comp Stage 3 cams yet with a 350 intake manifold throttle body. Pretty much his exact setup. I haven't found anyone with it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it does have the Steeda spring for the clutch. If you have a Mustang, I don't know if the 17s or the 16s they changed. It's just, it's a it's a good, it's a fun car, guys. It really is. Uh, don't knock on a Mustang until you actually drive one. Because I am a diehard import. I still am a diehard import fan. I'm trying to buy an FRS right now. I would buy a Mustang. It's out of my price range right now, unfortunately. Uh, but I would, def I definitely would. I've 100% converted. Uh, next up on my list to drive is hopefully a vet. Trying to get a hold of like a C6, Z06 would be nice. A C7 would be nice as well. So if you know anyone in Arizona that would be down to allow me to do a review, that'd be sick. The Recaros really aren't that bad. I, Truth be told, I actually like the Recaros. They, I'm a, I'm a pretty slender dude, I think. I think we can all see that. Uh, and I fit decently well. I mean, it could hug me a little bit more, but I mean, it's not bad. Not every Joe Schmo is my weight, so can't, can't really complain there. versus a stock C63 AMG, which he barely etched out, as well as an LS1 swapped uh, Camaro. And he uh, walked that. Oh, come on. Just give me a straight line, you fucks. Oh, is it so hard to ask for just... I just need like a quarter mile. Just I live I live my life a quarter mile at a time, guys. And I'm not finding any quarter miles, so I'm not living my life apparently. Is what I'm kind of what I'm under 
understanding from this. Ooh, SRT4. Ooh, that would have been a good race, my dude. All right, let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? Give them all the beans. I can never get fourth gear in this fucking car. Never. I fucking hate the fact that I can't get fourth gear. As far as like actually getting it, like solid, can't do it, man. It's upsetting. It upsets me as like a driver, you know? You ever driven a car and like, you know you're a pretty good driver, right? Like you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm a decent driver. But you just, you, you get in a car and you just, you just can't, I don't know. It makes me sound like I'm not a good driver. I am, at least I think I am. That, that's just really, really annoying. And I'm the only one that has problems with it. Mike doesn't have any problems with it. None of our other friends that have driven have any problems with it. I'm the only one. So it's a me thing. All right, it's a me thing. Unlike what we tell our significant others in a relationship or when we're breaking up in a relationship, telling them, no, we do tell them it's a me thing. When in reality, it's a, it's a, it's a you thing. Man, there's just muscle cars everywhere. Where are you guys going? I mean, it's, it's all old muscle, like... Oh man, there's no one. See, guys, I'm not... I am not the biggest fan of old school muscle. Ah, oh, there's the SRT fork. What's up, bro? Come on. Turn green! Come on, you little bit. Aww. Little bitch. I do love SRT4, so they make great sound. Now, even though I just kind of dissed myself a little bit as far as not being able to hit fourth gear, keeping the car under control, I mean, I, not bad, right? I mean, I didn't, I didn't hit anything, hit anyone. I can appreciate and I can respect old American muscle. Would I ever own or drive one? Nah. Would I, uh, if someone gave one to me, what would I do with it? It depends on what it was. Like this Thunderbird right here, fuck no. Nah. Mm-mm. Nope. Couldn't pay me to drive it. But see, I don't even know if that's a Thunderbird. I have no idea. There's not a lot of old muscle cars that I would own. I would probably do a Yanko. Man, this... I do love Cudas, so though. Fuck, that is a nice Cuda. Because it comes like that plum color. Oh, gorgeous. this car yet but I mean I haven't I haven't really gotten to drive it for like a whole day to practice it but he did a um, Steeda pedals I think to make it easier to heel toe but I don't I don't know I just I haven't really tried so I guess I shouldn't say I can't do I just haven't tried I would love to own me a uh, Mustang, man. This this generation, or Termi. I mean, obviously, you you can you can never go wrong with a Termi. Man, that'd be a tough one though. If someone's like, "Yo, if you could have a Termi of your choice, color, year, completely stock though." but all of that, but completely stonk, or a Mustang, your choice color of, of this generation, what would you pick? Completely free, just have it. Man, that's a, that's a, that, man, that is a tough, tough decision. Let me know in the comments below if you, uh, what you think you would go with, man. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Hey, um, if you watched to the end, I appreciate it. I know this probably wasn't the most exciting review of a Mustang, to be honest. I'm sure there, there, there's not a lot of back roads out here in Arizona, guys, to even, like, 
have a good one where you get to test like cornering and everything. Granted, I'm setting up a cruise to Jerome tomorrow, which I mean is pretty turny. Alrighty guys, like I said, if you if you stayed to the end, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I don't have any fucking motivational quotes to give you or anything. Uh, so go fuck yourself. Deuces.